Hi, I'm Rick Witter from Shed7 and you're watching Cool as Leicester. Well, there's always an anniversary of something. I, f I find on Twitter now, people are always tweeting me saying your second single was released on this day, which which is quite good research, really. I would never, <laughs> I would never know the dates. But, you know, I mean, this year is uh, 25 years since our debut album came out, you know, so there's always some type of anniversary. So, no, we're not... I think what we... If we do anything next year, it probably will just be a whole lot of festivals. But that's very good that you said that, because now I can discuss that on stage, can't I? It's something, it's something for me to say to the crowd. Massively. I mean, obviously, playing acoustic proves that you've written songs that are worthy of being played. It's almost a bit campfire-ish, if you know what I mean. But then it's, you know, it's different, because as a full band, you've got the power. Um, I like to kind of swing my hips and stuff, but there's no kind of rhythm section there for me to do that too so it is a little bit more standish you know what I mean but you know we've written some quite catchy songs and people like to sing along so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that they do here oh crikey um, we've done so many festivals I do remember getting stranded somewhere in Belgium or Denmark at a festival uh, and the rest of the band had gone back to the hotel which was a bus journey away and I found myself at about three in the morning stranded in this festival um, and the only way to get back was very kindly by a lift with the prodigy on their bus because they were playing really late at night um, and that was a scary experience yes no no that's very true but they were they were, they were very high because they'd just come off stage so I think you know they were they were full of beans on the journey back <laughs> Um, well, it, it was a great celebration of music at the time, you know, I mean, the 90s was probably the last time that we'll have a music scene like that, because in this day and age, it's all so technologically based, everything's so fast and instant, you know, so the thought of bands competing to get to number one and getting on news at 10 because of it, I think those days are kind of gone, really. So it's nice that we were kind of actively involved in what might be the last big musical movement in, in that respect, you know. Um, but there's just loads of bands writing good songs and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, um, well, it's, uh, cast are a great bunch of guys, I like the Blue Tones, they're good. You know, there's a band who's from Sweden, uh, Sweden actually, called The Soundtrack of Our Lives that were great. Um, they were quite British sounding. Uh, but there's just loads of it, I mean, you can just go on and on, couldn't you? Uh, well, I, li I really like the Fontaines DC, they're really good, an Irish band, um, and again, really in that respect, I've, I spend hours browsing looking for new things, and there is loads of good stuff out there, um, off the top of my head I can't actually think of anymore, <laughs> but uh, there's a band from Manchester called Squid who are quite cool, um, and there's loads of them, I'd have to get my phone out and start showing you. <laughs> 